Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. If I get distracted and I look away or go silent for a minute, it's probably the squirrels. I've become obsessed with squirrels. I put peanuts out in the yard and I'm watching them and I hit the camera to record and I see a squirrel crawl up in one of my bushes and started distracting me. So I had to turn the camera off and start over. Uh, today I want to talk about a raw food diet uh, tip that really helped me a lot. Um, guys, I do videos every day, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate if you'd go hit that red subscribe button now. Then be sure you click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Woo, we are in the summer now. We kind of spring hit fast. We're in the upper 90s. It's warm, um, and I'm hydrating. Today I've already had, I had three quarts of watermelon juice, and I had the last quart of watermelon juice while I sat out in the sun and got my vitamin D. That's the best way to drink your juice. Okay, so what's the trick that, the tip, the trick that helped me a lot? Well, it's a, I didn't know exactly what it was I was using at the time, but it was a form of mindfulness that I've talked about a number of times, and I had a few other little tips and thoughts and tricks, how you can use mindfulness to help you with this lifestyle as well. This is a process thing. This is a process thing. I know, I, I kind of feel, I've, I put my finger on the pulse. Everybody wants uh, videos that just tell them another how to do or, or another recipe, but Jesus, there's about 4 million recipes out there. Um, so it's all about the process. It's all about the mind. It's all about how we look at things, how we perceive things, and, and what we do with it. Um, one of the things that really, really worked for me from the very, and we're going, like I say, that we're going way back to the very beginning of this lifestyle. Um, and I, I, as I was getting ready for this video, I tried to remember details and exactly how I was feeling at that time. Um, but, and, but the truth is I didn't have a whole lot of pull. Like once I came to the raw vegan lifestyle, the vegan thing took like that. In other words, there were never, there was never any, um, these moments of like, Ooh, I really, where I was struggling, where I thought I was going to eat some meat or where I was struggling. I thought I was going to eat some cheese. Um, you know, it just, it, it made sense and it may make more sense to you when I tell you this little technique. And yeah, you know, even though I, I never really came close, I probably came closer. One of the things, one of the things, pizza. And I, I used to, at the time I went raw vegan, I was living in San Jose, Costa Rica, the city. And a lot of times during the middle of the day, um, I would walk downtown. I, I was working a job, I was writing sports but I wrote from home. So I'd walk downtown, take my take kind of a break, you know, get away for a while. And I'd go down to one of the places and get a slice of pizza. They had about five places that had slices. Well, that was just part of my routine. It wasn't so much the pizza was great. So I go raw vegan and then I'm walking downtown and I just, I, you know, I missed the atmosphere. I missed because they were, you know, there was actually a stand up counter and a lot of guys did that working guys. They'd just come get a, a slice, something to drink with it. They'd stand up at the counter and eat, and then they'd go. So I missed, I, and I always loved just mixing in with the local atmosphere down there. When I was a drunk, I drank in local bars. I wasn't in any little she-she tourist bars or whatever. I drank. So I like to be around the locals and do that kind of stuff. So, you know, the cheese, I remember the pizza being one of the first things, even though I didn't, it wasn't like I was about to eat it, but I, I used this trick. And I would imagine myself taking that pizza. I would order a bite. I would order a slice of pizza in my head. I would take that pizza. I would bite that pizza. And in my mind, I was mindful. I, I, I envisioned and I was mindful of where, what that thing is doing as it's going through my body. Because for me, it was as simple as once I knew, I couldn't unknow. You know, by this time I had, uh, I had seen, I don't think I'd read the China study yet, but I'd seen all the information on the China study plus a few other documentaries. Let's just put it like this. I was enough so where, you know, it just, um, it made sense to me. But I would imagine, I would imagine this, um, this slice of pizza or the cheese traveling through my body. And it was almost like this cartoony thing. I could imagine where it was traveling. I, I imagined the deposits it was leaving behind in my body. I imagined how it was clogging up my uh, colon, my big intestine. And I just imagined what that, what that led to 
with the accumulation, with this newfound knowledge that I had. And I, I applied that a number of times. And even a lot of times when I wasn't struggling, I think it was almost like uh, some, it kind of had the same effect as an affirmation. It would, it just kind of really solidified it for me. It would do the same thing with chicken wings. Sometimes I love, you've heard me talk about chicken wings, especially during when you're at the sports bar. Love, love, love chicken wings. Love chicken wings, dipping them in lots of blue cheese dripping, big thick, fat blue cheese dressing. Did the same thing. You know, I would imagine, okay, I just ordered that, uh, my usual wings. I'm taking a bite. What's that, what's that wing doing to my body? Because I didn't even see it as food at that point. I mean, my aha moment happened pretty quickly, the understanding of it. It was almost like immediately the things that, um, that I had eaten and taken for granted before, I didn't even see them as food anymore. Going back to that, once you know, you can't unknow. So how do you use that yourself? I think you, like I have, a, I have a number of tricks and ideas, but I'll just share a few of them with you right now and some of the, what I consider the more practical ones. Um, when you, uh, let's, you know, however, wherever you are on your journey, wherever you are on your path, number one, mindfulness, I like the concept of not, you know, you're just uh, observing things. They are what they are. And, you know, it's not like you beat yourself up when things are bad and you don't really overly congratulate yourself or be too proud or too happy when things are good. Things just are what they are. But if you're struggling with what you eat, if you tend to fall off your plan uh, quite regularly, or if you have that one uh, certain food that is your nemesis, if you have that one food that always causes you to stumble, to fall back, this is what I would suggest. Next time you're eating that food, next time that you are not able to find something else to eat, get rid of the temptation, overcome it, whatever, and you've gotten down to the point and you're gonna eat it. You know you're gonna eat it. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to be very mindful when you're doing that. And I think, and I do this too with things that I don't think I should be doing or I know that aren't the best for me. We tend to tune out when we do something like that. Next time you're eating something and, and it's tough, it's tough because it's almost like looking in the mirror when you don't not real happy with what you look like. But the next time you're, you do that, you're struggling and you sit down and you're about to finally give in and eat that, all I want you to do, and I don't want you to beat yourself up, I just want you to be very mindful. Don't watch TV while you're eating. Don't talk to your friends while you're eating. Don't read a book while you're eating. Food in front of you, eat. And I want you to be mindful of every bite you're eating mindful of every bite you're eating. I don't want you to judge yourself. I don't want you to be sitting there going, oh, I can't believe, I feel so guilty. I don't want you to, no self, you know, no self-hate or anything. I want you to be very just observant. It's a, it's, it's just a, it's a sort of a meditation. And, you know, I just want you to be very mindful, very mindful. And you don't even have to associate any thoughts with it, like this is good, or I know this, I shouldn't do it. Just be mindful. Every bite you take, be aware. I'm putting a bite of food in my mouth. I'm chewing this food, whatever it might be. Actually name the food. I'm chewing this food. Swallowing this food. And I want you to be mindful the whole time that you're eating this, this meal. Um, and like I say, the takeaway, I don't want you to, when you're done, go away and hang your head and be all, all sorry and be in, like let it get you down. I just want you to be mindful. Because when you're mindful like that, you're going to be less likely to do it again. And the next time you do it, don't necessarily, like I say, never beat yourself up. If you're struggling with something, you can use other tricks and methods. I'm not saying just give in right away. But anytime you do something on your plan, on your path, whatever, just be very aware of it. And this can translate over into anything. This could really translate over into anything. If you're trying to change your behavior, trying to change something you do, something about your life, and that is just like when you're doing something that you're trying to stop. You could use this. This works wonderful for smoking. Any of you smoker, if any of you that watch me that smoke out there, or if you just happen to come across that, smoke mindfully. Smoke very mindfully. Next time you smoke a cigarette, be aware, almost like you're breathing, although that's a sick kind of breath work. <laughs> just be... I'm breathing in. You remember that one I've told you about? Just simple mindfulness. You're aware you're breathing in. You're aware you're breathing out. Tune into that with a cigarette in your mouth. Be aware. 
I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out and be very mindful of the cigarette as you smoke it. But like I say, a lot of the stuff I like to talk about, I like it to be able to be plugged in in a lot of different situations. And I believe when we're mindful about what we do, we, we kind of just self-correct a little bit more naturally than this harsh, harsh, harsh of like guilt and I'm angry at myself and showing self-hate towards myself. Just use a little bit of simple mindfulness. Um, so anyhow... That's probably not the most exciting thing, or that's not the angle you may have wanted to hear from this one, but I, I, I stand by it. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.